Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexa J here and wow have I been gone for a long time. It's been like three or four months I think. So today I'm going to give you guys a life update video. I'm going to go through everything that's been going on, everything that's been happening. So this might be a pretty long video but um, I'm going to fill you in on everything that's been going on because a lot's been happening and that's been keeping me from filming. Also, I want to let you guys know that I have started an OnlyFans account where I'm doing more like exclusive little like videos and photos and footage and stuff like that of myself. So if you would like to see that, I will leave the link down below in the description box as well as on my Instagram, which you can follow. It's just at XO Alexa J X O where you can show me more love over there. Um, yes, yeah, so let's not keep rambling and I want to get right into today's video. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All of the love really helps. And um, without further ado, let's get into the video. We're going to discuss a little bit of like the... Oh wow, I'm rusted. Alright, so the first thing that I want to go over is surgery. Have I had my bottom surgery? And the answer to that question is no, I have not. If you have been following me for a little bit, you would know that I, one of my last videos was a um, one month pre-op video to my bottom surgery, which I was actually supposed to have uh, March 27th of this year. Um, and that obviously got postponed because of the pandemic. Unfortunately, it kept kind of getting pushed back. It got pushed to May and then to July and Honestly, it just became really overwhelming and with everything else going on with the pandemic and stuff I just wasn't like in the right mindset anymore to go through with surgery also insurance was being a let me just tell you because so I turned 26 this past June and the insurance that I was on was gonna like cancel like okay but you know I reached out to insurance and I was like hey look like this is what's going on like we're in a pandemic and I was supposed to have my surgery like blah 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 months ago like would you guys still like help me out and of course they're like mm, no sorry we can't make any exceptions I'm like really Like, I can't control a pandemic, but I mean, honestly, I was like, I think we just need to, I don't know, something inside of me was just like, let's just like reevaluate this a little bit. This is obviously a surgery that I really, really want, but I think it's something that you need to like really be ready for and not even just personally, but I think like, I don't know, like. Just the fact that like, I wouldn't be able to have my friends and family and stuff like there at the hospital to like comfort me and to be there with me and stuff like that. And not everyone has that like luxury of having like a lot of like supportive people. But for me, like I do and I want to have those people there. And, you know, I also don't want to be, you know, putting myself at more risk, you know, putting myself in a hospital situation like that. And also like... You know I don't know it just it's kind of like a hard like like situation but um, also it kind of made me rethink who I wanted to go to for surgery because it gave me a lot of time to really think about this and there's actually a surgeon that um, I wanted to go to like a long time ago but I just wasn't like sure and I actually never had a consultation with them I only went to see one surgeon so any advice I can give definitely go see more than one surgeon um, like luckily while I was getting electrolysis I met this new surgeon and got to like talk to them even before having like a you know um, what is it called a <laughs> consultation Woo! even before having like a consultation and stuff so something just spoke to me about that surgeon something kind of felt right and so like in a way it all worked out so I'm not mad about it anymore I'm actually going to see that surgeon in September for a consultation 
and I'll disclose all of that information in another video. I'll go through like who I'm going to see, whatever, consultation, yada, yada, yada. And um, yeah, so I don't wanna keep talking about the surgery because it's basically what happened. I was just very honest with the other people, like the other surgeon and like their team, like look, like, I'm just not comfortable going through this as of right now. So yes, I did cancel my surgery for the time being, but we're still on the way to uh, have a vagina. So the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is the fact that I moved what never in a million years did i think that i would be leaving philadelphia and moving back home leaving a city and moving back home to like a suburban area not there's a, that there's anything wrong with that it's just i've always loved a city lifestyle and like i can't believe that i moved but we're gonna kind of get into why I moved and like the major reason was the fact that I was living alone in an apartment and during this pandemic like it really took my mental health south you know just being alone I started feeling scared like I was just anxious all the time I was not happy I was so uncomfortable I was scared I was lonely and like I just started really like thinking about my life and really like reevaluating like what I want to do. I was also like still jobless, um, couldn't get work, and like realized that I don't want to go back into the fashion industry. What I really want to do is fulfill my dreams in the beauty industry. So I'm actually going back to school. So um, I'm so so happy. I'm literally gonna go to beauty school. I'm gonna get my cosmetology license, and I'm gonna fulfill like this dream inside of me to just work in the beauty industry and help people just feel confident and beautiful. That's something that I promote and truly, truly deeply love. And I know that I'm gonna be able to help my trans community as well with things like that. So yeah, it, it's a big shift, but you know what? Honestly, it just feels so right. Like I was so scared of it. And the crazy part is is I sat there for the longest time thinking, what is it I need to do next? Why can't I figure out what I'm gonna do? And it was right in front of me. The answer was literally right in front of me. It was, you're not happy here anymore, move, go back to school to fulfill your dreams in a career that you're gonna be happy in. Let me give you this piece of advice. Honestly, sometimes things feel uncomfortable, but you have to push yourself sometimes because if if you keep replaying over and over something that you want to do, something that feels good, it's probably because you need to do it and you need to listen to that. So yes, I moved and I'm going back to school and I'm so excited. I could not be happier. Um, so of course, because of all of that, I just have not had time to get filming in, but I'll stop with the excuses and on to the next thing. Guys, I literally feel so rusty right now, <laughs> like trying to film this, like, it's like, I'm not even like uncomfortable, it's just like, I don't even know, like I haven't talked in front of a camera in like a long time. Alright, so the last thing that I kind of want to like touch on in this video, life update wise, is my mental health. Um, like I kind of explained a little bit earlier on in the video, my mental health really took a turn in this, like, just like in these past couple months within this like pandemic and the quarantine and stuff. It it just got really hard for me like being alone and like trying to isolate myself for so long it it just it really it really got hard for me and I definitely was in a very very dark place and you know I got myself straightened out um, I'm actually back on um, an antidepressant and you know I feel like that might be like a very touchy subject but I'm not afraid to say that like like I literally like needed help and like I needed more than what I could provide for myself. I mean, guys, I literally like tried for the longest time. I mean, I even talked to my therapist about it. You know, like I tried so many different things. I mean, just, I'm not really gonna get like too deep into it, but like I just, I tried a lot of different things and honestly it was to a point that I could just not control it. it had taken over my life, my OCD. It was just 
it was so bad nothing like made me feel happy I wasn't comfortable but I got that straightened out I you know I took you know a leap forward for myself and you know I said we need to do something about this and I did it and I could not be more proud of myself right now so yeah that's pretty much everything that's been going on right now I you know I'm going back to school moved back home and I just feel very refreshed and ready for like a new a new start I'm ready to meet new people and do new things I'm ready to have a new career and I think that this is really where I need to be like the beauty industry it's really where I need to go I almost just I can feel it calling me and you know you can you can't grow and move forward if you don't let yourself listen to like the the, the feelings and you know the passions that like that like drive you you know you have to and sometimes you know you have to make a really big change in order to get to the next step and believe me it sounds so scary like it was literally within like like such a short period of time I realized wow I need to move back home I need to be around my family I need more space I need to like recollect my life I need to really figure stuff out I'm at a standstill and I'm the one holding myself back from that and it just feels so good to know that I have let myself be vulnerable. I've let myself listen to what it is that makes me happy and what like makes me like just feel driven to be motivated and to be happy and I'm super, super, super excited. And also, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I also started an OnlyFans. It's such a new thing. Um, but I really like it, you know, I just figured, like, you know, I create all these, like, really cool, I don't know, like, images and stuff, and, you know, I, like, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram and stuff, like, I'm not a super scandalous, or, <laughs> I'm not a super, super conservative person, but, I don't know, it's just, I'm just trying it out, you know what, like, I like to, I love the female body, I love you know, my female body as a transgender woman and I just want to embrace that and I want to just feel more empowered in myself and I can do what I want and I am worthy and you know what? I create beautiful images, I love my body, it's beautiful, it's art, so why not share it? So yeah, so I started an OnlyFans, so make sure that you guys like check that out. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I know this video was like super super long, but I just, I really needed to get you guys like filled in on like what's been going on and like what's changed in my life and stuff so, and let you guys know that I'm ready to get back into the groove and get more, you know, back into like a schedule of filming again. Um, also, I'm sure you guys have noticed, I have claws now. I love my nails, love, 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 and I have new glasses, which kind of match my whole, like, gold aesthetic type thing that I always wear, so, yes. And just remember, stay fearless, take a chance, because you never know where you'll be guided. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!